Hey, -o. hey guys. So if you saw the last video, you know that it was a bit of a joke. Um, I did literally pour paint on these miniatures. Um, as you can see, most of the paint has fallen off, landed on the base, and then just kind of like worked its way into the paper and with the exception of some of the grit. It's just kind of in there. Yeah. It's um it's pretty thick. We'll take our thumb and rub off some of this grit. We are gonna strip these. Um and while we strip them, we're gonna finish this little project over here that I'm working on. Listen to chill out beats in the background. I'm going to show you in real time how long it takes to do this. Um, oh boy. There we go. God, that's thick. At least get some of the thicker stuff off with our fingers. Actually, I could pop these guys off the bases. There we go. That's not cheating. God, look at all that paint. Holy cow. I mean, it's thick. There we go. All right. This was a ultrasonic cleaner. This is a small one. Uh, I honestly don't know how much one of these cost. I have a fairly large one. It's uh, stainless steel, comes from Harbor Freight, works fine. I think this one came from a jewelry store or cosmetology store, but we're going to use it. Um, number one thing about using an ultrasonic is before you put your miniatures in there, you want to heat the machine up. It, it does heat up. So you want to run it for about 30 minutes or an hour. Once it gets heated up, this I feel like this process should go pretty quick. Uh, maybe 30 minutes, and we'll be good to go. There's a little basket on the inside. We'll just plop our miniatures in there. Ooh, messy. Set our timer for 30 minutes. So if it's longer than that... But I don't think it's going to be longer than that. I don't even think it'll take the full 30 minutes now that it's heated up. You can do this with cold, but it takes so much longer. Um, the reason this video is taking so long is because this is literally how many days it took all that paint to dry. Yeah, that was a lot of paint. Alright, let's move that out of the way. Yeah. Let's flip over the piece of paper. Uh, you can see it literally soak through the paper. Move that to the side. We'll cut on some tasty jams and just zone out and paint for about 20 minutes or so. So we're going to cut it on. Well, I guess if you happen to get one of these, it's a Fossman P. I think it's Panasonic. Um, your timer buttons on the left hand side, your on offs in the center and your resets here, you know, the reset does 30 or does three minutes, which I'm sure is probably enough to clean jewelry, but for timer purposes, you want to just keep pushing it till it gets 30, press on, you'll hear a buzzing noise, you hear it. This is actually a lot quieter than my other one. My other one makes so much racket. But we're going to check this in about five minutes. We'll pull everything out. We'll set it down here. Take a look at it. See how it looks in about five minutes. While that's going on, so we don't have to listen to the constant buzz. <coughs> we'll listen to some jams. Oh. 
There we go. Alright. Plastic card. Purple paint. Water. that plan. Plan B. Why we have long thumb and pointer fingernails. our base purple. Had it super glued to a piece of cork and it just popped right off. There's our five minutes. Let's pause it. Move this over a little bit. Oh, look at that. Let's get a brush. Okay. I say we give it a few more and see how that treats it. 
but yeah, it's definitely coming off. Cut it back on. We'll check it in another five. Let's see here. 